Today, I am going to give you five tips on conquering the art of public speaking. We'll be wielding the wisdom of some legendary communicators and forging our own paths to stage mastery. So grab your courage, polish your mic presence, and get ready to transform those butterflies in your stomach into soaring eagles of eloquence with these five tips. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below if you like these, uh, if you're liking the series, and share this with your friends and loved ones. Now, let's get. First, let's acknowledge the elephant in the room, fear. It's natural, it's primal, and it's often amplified by thoughts like, what if I forgot something, or they'll think I'm a fraud. But here's the good news. Fear is just a firecracker of adrenaline waiting to be harnessed. And that's where Simon Sinek, the start with why guru, comes in. So tip number one, find your why and ignite your inner torchbearer. Sinek teaches us that most powerful presentations start with a burning why. What's the purpose behind your talk? What message do you want to ignite in your audience's hearts? When you connect with your why, that fear transforms into passion. Your voice crackles with conviction and your audience becomes captivated by the fire within you. Remember, a presentation without a why is like a campfire without sparks. It might flicker for a while, but it won't leave a lasting warmth. Tip number two, channel your inner rocket man with Mel Robbins' five-second rule. Ever heard of Mel Robbins, the five-second rule queen? She's like a human launch pad, ready to propel your past procrastination in, into action. Her trick? When fear threatens to freeze you, count down from five. That countdown acts like a countdown timer, breaking your inner inertia and launching you into a state of unstoppable momentum. So the next time your nerves hit warp speed, remember Mel's rule. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Tip number three, unleash your inner Jedi with Amy Cuddy's power poses and beyond. Remember Amy Cuddy, the power pose pioneer? She taught us how faking it till you make it works wonders, especially with our body language. Stand tall, shoulders back, chin up. These power poses not only project confidence, but they actually trick your brain into feeling it too. But let's take it a step further. Think of micro expressions, sudden, subtle shifts in your eyebrows or the tilt of your head that can send subconscious signals of authority and charisma. Channel your inner Jedi, masters of subtle communication, and let your body language speak volumes before you even utter a word. Tip number four, tickle their funny bone with Jerry Seinfeld method of observational humor. Laughter is a powerful weapon, and a few wield it better than Jerry Seinfeld. He reminds us that the best humor comes from everyday observations, the quirks and the oddities that make us human. Find the funny in your own experiences, your unique perspective on the world, and weave it into your presentation. A well-placed chuckle can break the ice, disarm tension, and make your audience remember you long after the lights dim. Tip number five, beyond your body language, let your personality speak volumes for you. Now, I know I mentioned body language in the previous tips, but I want you to really hone your own personality as part of it. Forget the scripts and cue cards. Your body is your most powerful communication tool. Standing tall, and projecting confidence with your posture and let your gestures complement your words. 
But remember, it's not about robotic movements or forced smiles. People can sense that. Be authentic. Let your personality shine through. And use your body language to connect with your audience on a deeper level. Think of it as silent conversations happening alongside your spoken words, adding another layer of meaning and impact. Remember, you are unique. There is no one else but you. So let that shine through with your body language and your tone and your expressions. Because you stuck around and stayed for the first five tips, here are two special bonus tips to help you achieve public speaking success. Bonus tip number one, the tone sends the message. Imagine your voice on a pitch roller coaster. Go high for emphasis, like announcing a jaw-dropping interview guest. Dive low for suspense building anticipation before that juicy plot twist. Don't be afraid to play in between, keeping your listeners on their toes. Think of a race car speeding through an interview, then slowing down to savor a pugnant reflection. Vary your pace to reflect the story you're telling. Quicken the tempo for exciting news. Draw it out for emotional moments. Don't just speak. Express, whisper your juicy thoughts, shout joyful discoveries, unleash your playful growl when arguing a point. Your voice is a chameleon. Adapt it to the emotions you want to convey. Bonus tip number two, the strategic power of silence. Silence is an emptiness. It's an invitation. A well-placed pause after a powerful statement can amplify its impact, like an echo bouncing off a mountain. Let the weight of the, your words hang in the air. Give your listeners space to ponder, to feel before you move on. Imagine a tense interview on the brink of a revelation, you ask the final question, then silence. The tension crackles, hearts pound, and when the guest finally speaks, every word explodes with significance. Use silence to build anticipation, to draw your listeners deeper into the story. Sometimes the most profound emotions don't need words. A heartfelt story might end with a tearful silence. A character's loss best expressed by a choked sob. Don't shy away from letting silence speak the language of the heart. Fostering a deeper connection with your audience. Silence isn't passive, it's active. A question followed by a pause isn't an empty void. It's an invitation for your listeners to join the conversation. Let them mull over your point, formulate their own thoughts, and participate in the mental dance of your story. Remember, public speaking isn't about perfection, it's about connection. So share your stories, your victories, and your challenges in the comments below. Build a community of fearless communicators, offer advice and learn from each other. Together, we can transform stages into launching pads, microphones into megaphones of our passions and our voices into the revolutions that shape the world. Thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.